Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all doing so well. I do apologise that this video is actually quite a few weeks late, but as you know I've stopped doing, well I didn't really get into them, but I don't do monthly favourites, I'm doing seasonal favourites, so this, <laughs> this is my kind of late spring favourite, so these are the products that I love during springtime, so March, April, May. I did film this like a month ago, I lost the footage, I've had so many issues, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to get stuck in and actually tell you about these products that I have been using in springtime, even though we're now in summer. So I have three palettes I want to talk about and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the first one. This is a Makeup Academy Pretty Pastels and this is actually sent to me in a swap with my lovely Elle and I just fell in love with these colours here. I'm not much of a really colourful person whenever it comes to my eyes. We'll try them on other people, but I love pinks and I love naturals and stuff, so I love this palette. I also have now got my Naked 2 and Naked 3. Um, my Naked 2, I mean, you guys have seen these palettes to the death. Um, I do have a video coming this week on Naked 2, so watch out for that. Um, and then my Naked 3, which is a current absolute love of mine. Um, I'm wearing it today but it's starting to wear off because I've had it on for, I don't know, 10 hours or something now. So they are my three favourite palettes that I've absolutely adored. I will say something, they are a wee bit powdery these um, Urban Decay palettes. I do find that there is a bit of fallout with them. Um, not as much with Makeup Academy so that's something. So that's those two things and sticking with Urban Decay products, I do want to show you a couple of things that I have been using with Urban Decay. Um, I went in on my birthday, you guys have seen the hauls and everything so I don't really need to go into this here but if you haven't, just in case you haven't I will tell you anyway. I went in looking, I went into Debenhams looking for new foundation, I wanted higher end, I'm 30, I wanted to get myself something a wee bit more expensive that was going to be really, really, really good. I went to MAC didn't like the studio fix and it kind of put me off the girl really kicked it on it may be nicer if I did it myself but I didn't like it so I went to Urban Decay because you know me I love their eyeshadows Um, never tried anything else apart from the wee sample last year of the foundation that was too dark for me so anyway I went back I tried on the foundation I got myself the studio fix I got myself the naked skin absolutely love this foundation have to say, packaging, not great, it's really plasticky, um, you know, you've got the metal lid and everything and then this is plasticky. It's, I don't know, there's just something, I don't like about it. It's, it's heavy, but it looks cheap or something, I don't know. But the foundation is really, really good, just shake it before you use it. I put some on my hand, dab it onto my face and use my brush or my sponge, whatever I'm using that day. Um, so that is that, but before I put that on, what I've been using is this B6 and it's a vitamin infused complexion prep spray. It's redness reducing, pore minimizing and oil absorbing, which is what was so important to me about this product. I really needed something that was gonna stop me being really red, was gonna take away shininess, was gonna stop me sweating my makeup off because you guys know I hate that. It's so annoying whenever I find a product that I think is gonna be really good and because I do have hormonal issues and I do sweat that wee bit more, especially during the summer, I don't want to sweat my makeup off. So it puts me off wearing anything and I hate that. I don't want to not have to wear makeup because I'm just going to sweat it off anyway. So this here is really, really good. Um, it is oil absorbent and I do find that it's really good. I will. You just spray it on before you put your makeup on, before you put your moisturizer, your primer and everything on, you spray this onto your skin. Absolutely brilliant. I just, I spray it onto my skin um, and I let it sink in a wee bit. I would do my eyebrows or I would do my eyeshadow or something first before I move on to putting my foundation on. But I absolutely love this. Um, and then I also still have the makeup setting spray. I use theirs. Haven't actually tried anybody else's but I do really, really love this product. I do think it really holds your makeup on. And again, it's oil control. It's oil free, paraben free, temperature control technology. Um, I love this and it's so good for travel. Um, I was away last weekend and this was great to just shove in my Clinique makeup bag. So, whew, being really fast here. 
My other face um, product that I'm really loving is this Nude Magique from L'Oreal. I bought this from the lovely Species Number One Girl and I love this. It really just, when you put this on, um, in fact I'm wearing it today, um, when you put this on it changes to match your skin tone and just gives you that natural glow and I love it. It's really really good. It smells nice. I've actually had compliments, especially from my husband, whenever he comes over close to me. Um, he actually really likes the smell of it as well. So that is something, you guys know that I don't like things that um, have perfume or anything in them, but there's just something about this that the smell of it is really, really nice. Um, but it's not a powerful smell or anything. It's just subtle, but just nice. So what else have we got? Um, sticking with face products. I still use my Spray Misty for me. This is this facial spray from Anatomicals. I think I got this like last year in my first ever glossy box or something, but I absolutely love this. It's a product I put on at the end of the day. I take all my makeup off, I do my moisturizer, I do my eye cream, all of that malarkey, and then I spray this on my face. And this is something, even during summer, this is gonna continue to be really, really good for me because it just really soothes and cools your face with the peppermint in it. Um, it has lavender, aloe, rose and witch hazel and it just it's really really refreshing. I love this. I must actually check and see where you can get it but I have loads still left in this. Um, it just it's so long lasting. Speaking of cleaning, um, I am still going with this here as my favourite. I have random hair. Um, I've run out of this here. Well I say I've run out. This is empty. I have more. Um, but I'm absolutely loving this. Once, I, I do think eventually I will actually just buy the full size of this. I am sticking to buying the smaller sizes because I have other products that I am trying out. Um, but they are my favourites. So you have your liquid facial soap and this is mild, it is no perfume, it's for dry combination skin. I don't really... My skin is, it's drier around here. Here is sort of oily. Um, so because my skin is so sensitive, I like to use something like this here that is really mild. I absolutely love this. Then you have your clarifying lotion, which I put over my face and my neck. Um, but what I do is I use this. I then go in with my, um, my take the day off makeup remover. This is for lids, lashes and lips. It is so good. I absolutely love this. You know, you have the oil and the other product, which I never remember what it is, but it is so good. I, especially for taking off mascara and stuff, what I do is I put it on a cotton round um, and I hold it onto my eyelid for 30 seconds. And after that 30 seconds, I just wipe it gently and wipe it gently again. And I just take, lo I take soft swipes until there's basically nothing else coming off because I don't want to be one of these people who are dragging and dragging and dragging because your eyelashes just come out. You'll end up with nothing, but this is really good. It's not cheap. I will say that it's not cheap, but I did decide that for the long term, I did want to try products that were more expensive so that I could see whether it was worth my while. At my age, I am 30. I know I'm only 30. I'm still a young pup, but I'm at that stage where I really need to be looking after my skin because in 10 years time, I'm going to be going, why didn't I look after my skin whenever I could? So anyway, this was, I think, £18 um, and I'm nearly out of it. So I have already bought a replacement. Um, but I use that. Then I go in with the clarifying lotion. I rub that all over my face in circular motions and down my neck. Um, and this is really, really good. I don't put this anywhere near my eyes. Um, and then I put on my moisturizer. Um, I'm loving this here. This is very dry to dry combination. Um, I'm gonna try the oily one the next time, but there's no perfume or anything in this here. It's just really moisturizing. Even whenever I had um, I, my skin really, really dried out after I was sunburned a few weeks ago um, and this was fantastic for it. So. That was that. These are, um, I'm not currently using these products. I'm reviewing other products at the moment. So these were the things I was using over springtime. So just bear that in mind. There are other things that I have now pushed in that will be in videos over the coming weeks um, in my reviews and stuff. Um, so anyway, you guys know 
if you've seen my haul, um, can't remember when it was, but I did get NYX product. I am in love with this. What is this? Is this natural one? Um, yeah, this is my extreme lip cream. I'm wearing it today. Um, and this is in natural. I love this. It is so really like, I can't even pinpoint what the scent of this is, but I really, really like it. Um, so loving that. I can't even remember how much this was. They came in a set of loads of things. Anyway, so moving on. Um, I have my Urban Decay here because during springtime I wore this underneath my eyeshadow nearly every single day um, and it is nearly done and I don't have a replacement anymore so I'm probably gonna have to think about whether I would purchase this as an actual product but it was an absolute favourite for me during springtime um, and Another favourite for me during springtime was my automatic brow pencil and so this is Bistra and this is by FM and I love this. Again, it's something I've gone in today but I did, um, I used a brush over it quite a lot because I wanted to make it look more subtle today. Um, so really, really like that. It's so easy to use. I love these pencils as well because they come with those sharpener in the bottom. So good. Um, and bronzers, which is the final product of the day. Um, I'm loving my big powder in, oh, I can't even remember what this one is called. But this is <sighs> big powder from FM and it is the bronze in effect, I think it's called. Um, but it is so, so good. It's very, very shimmery. So it was really, really lovely for um, springtime and it will continue to be a favorite of mine during summer as well. So the other bronzer that I'm absolutely loving is this Mosaic bronzer by MUA and this is Sunkiss Glow in shade 2 and this is a product that was sent to me by Elle as well. Um, so let's just have a wee all over swatchy swatchy. So that's what it looks like on my finger. Um, and that is it. I'm not sure how well it's coming up. Um, that's it there. And then the other one beside it, that was the FM one. Um, the FM one is so much more, I'm really not good at this today. The FM one is so much more shimmery than this one here. So it depends on what sort of mood I'm in, which one I would have um, gone for. But the shimmery one will continue to be a favorite of mine throughout the summer as well, I would assume. Um, so that is it, my darlings. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, let me know what your favourites over springtime were and what you're loving right now as well. And I will see you on my next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.